Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. How is everyone doing? I am doing great and I hope you are doing the same. It's a great feeling to welcome you all today. So we are going to embark on another interesting topic that you and I need to know. In case you need to just something down, you can get your paper, get your pen and relax. Let me take you on this ride. Thank you, my old subscribers, for being there. Thank you, my new subscribers. Thank you, my viewers. And for those of you who haven't really joined us, I urge you to join us because I'm sure you will enjoy this wonderful family because you have so much to learn. In today's topic, we are going to talk about the full moon. You heard me right, full moon. I'm sure many of us are still ignoring the blessings that follows new moon. There are a lot of mysteries surrounding the full moon. Whenever you see full moon, maybe you haven't taken any notice, but as from today onwards, start to look into it. You will see so many wonderful things that goes with full moon. But let's just um, let explain better. Full moon comes out every once in a month. It carries a lot of blessings. For example, if there's anything you are looking for, like if there's any blessing you want to happen in your life, when you make your prayer exactly when the moon is out, you are surely going to get those blessings. It's not as if you can't get your blessings in ordinary days. No, we get our blessings from God every blessed day. But if you want to push something like a bit for that, to fast, fast track it, try and do your prayers whenever full moon comes out. There is something we need to know about full moon. Haven't you noticed that wicked people use this full moon to do evil? What, I'm, what I mean by that is witches and wizards oppress better and more during full moon. Occultic members oppress better during full moon. Then you, that is clean, you don't, you don't think of evil for anyone, you are not a witch or a wizard, you are not an occultic member. Why would you fold your arms and wait on them to send missiles to you, to attack you in different ways? Why would you fold your arms and allow things to get to you negatively? Now, here is the thing. Every full moon, these names I mentioned oppress better in the evil acts they carry at that time. What you need to know and what you need to do on your own part as someone who does not involve himself or herself into witchcraft or occultic things, then during full moon, wake up. You need to pray. Anytime you see the moon starts, if you notice that witches and wizards are after your life or you have noticed that occultic power somewhere is after your life, like you notice the downside of your business, things are not working out well in your business. At work, wherever it is you are, you are, you are working, in your office complex, people doesn't like you. Um, even when there is promotion, every other person in that office will get promoted except you. Then during the salary increment, you've noticed that majority of your colleagues' salaries have been increased except you. Now, at the same time, you notice that maybe some money have been, they've been owing some of you in that office. Then you now notice that majority of them have all been paid except you. They are holding your money back. Reasons best known to them, but sometimes reasons they don't even have explanation for. But you've been noticing these downsides in your life. The business going down, nothing seems to be working. Family not in order, you know, quarrels here and there. Even in your children's education, in school, a lot of things going wrong. But you can't really tell where all those things are coming from. Many a times, the hands of devil is in what you are passing through. Like the hands of maybe occultic manipulation is in what you are passing through. The witches and wizards... Their manipulation is also in what you are passing through. In this case, do you fold your arms and watch everything go wrong for as long as God knows where? Mm -mm. If you don't know what to do, 
in making this video for you to open your eyes. Open your eyes, receive this knowledge, this spiritual knowledge, and know how to apply it in your life and watch how your life will turn out to, to be good. Okay, the moment full moon comes out, what do you need to do? Get your white candle. You need a white candle. When you get your white candle, do not fail to dress it with anointing, olive oil, blessed one. If you do not have any priests or any pastor to bless it for you, you watching me can bless it for yourself with the word of your mouth and your faith. Prophesy upon that candle that you have cleansed it away from negativity. First of all, try to ask God for mercy to cleanse you of your sin. And also to remind him that he has given us power over all he has created. Now, with that power, you see to now pray upon that candle, that you are placing it of every negativity it must have attracted at the factory or from hand to hand before it got to you. As we are cleaning all those things away, you are now praying onto it to usher in positivity into your life so that whatever prayer declaration you are going to use it to make will definitely work for you. Then when you get your candle, dress it with anointing oil what i mean by dressing is anoint it apply like put anointing oil in your palm rub it together use it to touch on that candle that's what i mean by dressing your candle after doing that make sure before this thing you must have written your intentions down like the things you need god to bless you with get your candle get your intention Wherever you can stay in your house to do it is okay. If you feel you live in a compound of your own that you can go out looking at the moon to do this prayer, beautiful, go out to do it. If you feel where you are living is not a place you can comfortably go out because of what, you know, people will definitely start looking at you like as if you are doing something wrong. Remain wherever you are, remain in your house, inside to do this prayer. Having, it, having faith. In mind that the full moon is out there shining down upon the world. Bring that your intention, place it on the floor, get that candle, light your candle because white candle signifies purity and the presence of the Holy Spirit. In case you don't know, light that your candle, put it in a candle stand and place it on top of that your prayer declare uh, on top of that your um, intention of what you need. When you place it there, get water. Put water in a white bowl or in a white bucket or in a white container. I know a lot of you will start asking, can I use any other color of bowl? Well, the best is anything white. If you can get anything white, even if it's a white plastic plate that can, you can, that can hold water in it, use it. Put water into it. Take it outside. Let the full moonlight shine down inside that water. Place that your water under the full moon. Start your prayer with your candle and your intention. Begin to pray. Now, another thing you need to do, full moon is something you can command. We don't worship it. Mm -mm. Because God has already given us the power to command everything he created. No matter what that thing is. Moon is one of the things God created. So you, you have power over full moon. When you ask for mercy, read your Psalms. Read Psalm 51 for mercy. Asking God for mercy because we have all seen and fallen short of his glory. Then when you finish that, pray Psalm 91. If you are not a Christian and you are not, yeah, if you're not a Christian, you feel you cannot read Bible, it's okay. Do your prayers. But for we Christians, I read my Bibles a lot. After your prayer declaration, begin to command the moon. You have to command the moon. You can sit in your house and open your window to talk to the moon. Look at the moon. So all you need to do is to look at the moon, start praying. Command the moon to work for you. That wherever it is, they are calling your name negatively. Wherever Kovun, they are mentioning your name at that point in time, or whenever it is that they are mentioning your name, that you are commanding the moon 
to go and destroy whatever it is you're calling upon your head. That he, that the moon should send back to the senders whatever evil misery they are throwing at you. Wherever witches and wizards have gathered in your name, that the moon shall go there and destroy their plans. And again, that whatever it is you are looking for, start mentioning those things you wrote down. If it's job that you are commanding moon, you are commanding it to go and get you, you mention a specific job you are looking for. If whatever it is you are looking for, I don't, I don't have to tell you what to say. We all have individual problems. We all have the things we need. If it's money you are looking for, begin to pray everything, commanding moon to do exactly what you want it to do for you. Command the moon to go to universe and bring down your blessings for you. With faith, we do all these things. It is all about command. Listen, command, you are not worshipping it. You even have power over it. That is why you need to command it to walk in your favor. Then after all those prayers, that is so, say the rest of the things you need to say. End your prayer. If you're outside doing this prayer, go back to your house. If you're already inside the house, that's okay. Allow that candle to burn completely down upon that intention you wrote. Do not be the one to blow it out because you don't need to blow it out. Then make sure you, flip the, you place the candle where it will not catch fire in a safe place. Remember, because you are going to leave it. It doesn't necessarily mean you will remain dead till the next day. No. So when you finish the prayers you are having, then leave the candle there. Go, back to, uh, go inside your room and sleep. In the morning time, when you wake up, go to where you place that candle before it must have burned down by then. Take the candle wax and the intention, burn all of them together. When you burn all of them together, open your door, send it out to the universe, blow the ashes out or pour the ashes out. As you are doing this thing, say, I am sending it out to the universe. Thank you, God of universe, for answered prayers. That is all. It might sound easy, it might seem easy, but it is powerful, spiritually, very, very powerful. If you haven't been doing this, start. There are some things when you are being told about, you start doubting or maybe you start looking at it like people are lying. Why don't you try it out on your own? Like for example, you are looking for that particular job, you, you are not getting it. Take your CV, use your CV. Display to the moon. Pray over your CV. That this is your CV. That as you are going to social office to submit this CV, that you want them to call you back and grant you that job with your faith. Use your CV to pray during the moon. There are a lot moon can do for us. A lot moon can do for us. So this is one of the ways. Like I said earlier, if you haven't been doing all this, begin today. We are in the month of August. The moon is not yet out. Even though I've seen the, the half moon, but that's not what we're waiting for. We're actually waiting for the full moon. So begin to look out every evening. Begin to look out like from around 6, 7. Begin to check out for the full moon because it's coming out anytime. The moment you see it, make your prayer declaration or your intentions. Say it at that time. Believe with your faith. You will surely receive your answer. If you enjoyed this topic, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and join us when next I am going to bring another topic. Because I am going to bring lots and lots of ways we can be making use of this full moon. Enough of allowing the evil ones to toy with our lives all because we don't know what to do. Knowledge is power. Acquire the spiritual knowledge to help yourself in future. Thank you once again. Until next time, I am going to bring another topic. It is bye from me to you.